Hey, gang, welcome to my life, where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom, and I'll be your host, coming at you from within the depths of Geistopia. Welcome to my life as a project, an experiment in life and art, a living storyboard, if you will. Its premise is that life is experiential and that you can and do experience the life you choose. It, it is based on the use of the Wheel of Life and the arts for the new millennium as life-building tools. Welcome to my life as an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism Word. Just Us Productions, the parent company, would like to <laughs> give a shout out to the following for their ongoing and oft times unknowing inspiration and support. Everyone, because you rock, but most especially Soup the Sun, because you rock more. And of course, a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous. It is Wednesday, April 14th. 2021 time activated what is going on hi howdy hello how do you do how you doing how's it going what's going on what's new what do you hear what do you say what do you think what do you see i screwed it up ah well thank you anyway george carl and we'll maybe give it another shot and just a hi howdy hello how are you how do you do how you doing how's it going what's going on what's new what do you hear what do you say what do you think what do you feel what's shaking what's happening keep us what's going down what it is oh How's the hammer hanging? Good evening, your holiness. How hangeth thy hammer? Uh, <laughs> again, thank you, George Collins. May he rest in peace. What's going on? So here we are once again. Here I am. I'm drunk again. I'm drunk because you left me I'm making up the words completely I don't even know the song nope uh, so I'm back here at the cave I was doing some can crushing I didn't realize can crushing could be such exercise oh my arm is sore because I just got into a rhythm I meant to like switch off arms but I got into a rhythm Schlamazel, schlamazel. Uh, I had, I so I went up. Yes, two days ago, two days ago, I went up to the professor's. He had started having cans for me already before I left for the tour. So needless to say, there were quite a few when I got back. And when I went to pick up, I had like fifteen can bags of cans from him to pick up. So I picked those up, and I want to crush them. I decided that that just saves me some space it's a little bit of extra work but it saves me some space which is nice and it's actually funny like it actually gives me a much better gauge too of like how much weight i actually have because never would i have imagined in picking up all of these individual little bags of cans that they weigh as much as the bags of crushed cans but they do you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's all the same cans. It's all the same weed. It's just put together differently. And it, it, it's just, I don't know, stupid shit like that interests me. Uh, but so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that just in, in cans alone, I have about 90 pounds. <laughs> and that's just cans. I just picked up copper today. This is something I want to talk about. Like, so the professor asked me it, what I was going to do on the job front now that I left the diner. He's like, are you going to look for something? My answer was a resounding no. No. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with that game. <sighs> chasing and chasing and chasing. And for what? To get nowhere and find the same frustrations and the same aggravations and the same over and over and over again. 
Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I continuously go and seek out employment, thinking it will somehow make a difference, and it doesn't. So for now, my mission is to just kind of stay with what I've got. Like the delivery driving, it's going to take me some time and some tweaking, and I might lose some money along the way. But ultimately, like, it's it, it's not like I'm talking like back in the day when I just had the retail merchandising and that was very touch and go and I couldn't always make a lot out of it. This is the delivery driving. Dude, there is work every day. And like I did some yesterday. I made 100 bucks, 95 bucks. Now I dropped about half of that in gas at the end of the day, but... Again, got to wait and see, because yesterday was my first day trying to do two at the same time. Not sure how other people do that, and not sure I'm going to try to do it again myself. It created some stress there. I think what I need to do is when I pick up a job with one, I need to pause the other one until I get to a comfortable space, because I ended up having myself very stretched thin at times yesterday and that made for stress that I did not need uh, in fact I ended up like going to sleep then when I was done with the day so I think I'm going to just kind of stick with that right now as long as I'm making money that's all that matters and if I'm making money on a daily basis that I can get on a daily basis and I can keep it at about that same amount I'm no worse off than I was at the diner and that's just with that and that's just with minimal effort but I need to, I think I, what I need to do is just kind of start focusing on what comes to me naturally. For instance, and that's what got us there, the metal. Dude, man, if it, if it is not a divine blessing, I don't know what it is because it just comes in abundance anymore. I Like right this minute to the point that I can't keep up with it properly. And that's what I'm trying to do now is get caught up that's what today was I'm still a little under the weather so like yesterday hurt and I think part of it hurt because I was still a little under the weather and it was just I needed to rest so I was like well today I knew the professor was coming down was going to visit with Bob and uh, F and Bob that is y'all come back now you hear black gold And so, I don't know, uh, I've got like cans out the wazoo and my other friend gave me a whole bunch of different kinds of cans. So there were like some soda cans and some soup cans and dog food cans and the putter's been cleaning out. So I've got all sorts of metal and aluminum and steel and I don't even know what else. I found some brass along the way. And then old guy Stopia is getting some work done up in the upstairs bathroom that's been a necessity since apparently after like a month after I left. And uh, <laughs> all sorts of copper piping and cast iron piping. And like, I just, I have such a load here. I am so very interested in seeing how much it is and just especially like once I get to go because I also still have copper wire to strip I have some in the van I have some here uh, I'm far from ready to take it and there is still more coming St. Diane texted me and said she had something for me and somebody else messaged me and said I'll probably have metal for you again soon and so like this comes naturally why should I resist it is it a living? No, not right this minute. And I'm not saying that I want to get into metal scrapping as a living, because that's some sh stuff there. But as far as surviving and doing and being and um, th this comes naturally without any effort on my part whatsoever. So I might as well run with it. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about the delivery driving. It's it's effortless, really. It's it's right there, anytime I choose. If I finish here today and I decide tonight I want to drive, there's probably some work. So that's where all of that is. Oh, and it's time. I, I didn't really have much to say. I just kind of wanted to touch base and, and hi. 
let you know I'm still around. Uh, we're going to see what's going on. I'm so lost without the guys. It's not even funny. Like, I just, I don't know how to function. Uh, I don't know what to do with myself. And I could hear Walt just then making some sort of horrible, nasty, perverted comment. I miss you, Walt. I wish you'd call. Doc, Johnny, one of you. Could you? I'm so lonely. Anyway, uh, that's all the news. It is the news for right now, and uh, we'll catch in with you later. If you're not already there, please go to the Welcome to My Life Facebook page, WTML, or the... Uh, you can also find me on Facebook under Rev.SpaceMatt. You can continue to follow us right here on the YouTube channel, Welcome to My Life 08. Or you can follow that blog that follow, appears at the bottom of the screen in the beginning of the videos, wherever you are and whenever you are. Please like, comment, and share. We are on a journey, and it takes everyone to get there, so we might as well be engaged. So without hesitation, for now and for always, from here in Geistopia, this is your beloved Rev, wishing you peace, love, light, and freakishness, baby. You know, there was so much other stuff I wanted to talk about and didn't.